Hey guys and welcome to the second episode of Hitman 3. We're going to carry on from where we left off from the first episode from On Top of the World. The next mission is in Death of the Family. Drop a like on the video, subscribe for more. There will be a new game after Hitman 3 and then we'll be heading into 2022 with a lot to look forward to as well. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's get into it. End of the line. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Obviously, they're referring to Carlisle, the last partner. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very yeah. house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Mm -hmm. Right. It began here, and it ends here. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Right, so we just gotta eliminate Alexa Carlisle and then get the case file. Full focus, I'm gonna go full focus in this one. Because I tried, but I basically tried this mission before. It drove me a bit crazy, so. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children. Younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, good luck, gentlemen. All right, let's get it. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator Hired by Madame Carla this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. This is the one we're going to follow. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Let's try. Hey, someone there? Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlisle? Please do. If you follow me, Nice, nice, nice. It's preparing for Madame's funeral and then she turned up at night. Oh my god, okay. Alright, just hide it here. Cool. This is what I need. Just be crashed down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Sir. Oh, by the way, I told Kate about this text. Sir, I just what did she say? say? Well, it's I thought she'd be mad at me, but. She just thanked the fact me, that I spotted no less than two rooms. I was inside the house. Just wait here for a bit. There we go, right. Got the disguise we want. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. Duh. That's the whole point. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? How does no one see the back of his head? I prefer to get started. Oh, Barker, as you there. If you'll follow me, sir. All right. Follow him. Let's go. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary. Adam Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. 
The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. All right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Mm hmm All right, so basically we just got to find everything that's... Anything that's connected to his murder. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Kitchen knife, not that. Oh, down a hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Nice. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. Nothing in here, I don't think, apart from that. There are a couple of things here. There we go, that's a suicide Zachary's note. suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare the body. to other samples to establish its authenticity. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Batman style, let's go. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Mm hmm. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. All right. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madam's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Oh. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madam Carlyle. Okay. This is very useful information, 47. So this is where... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I can check their rooms. So that's what I missed out when I first did it. Okay, okay. So I can question them. And then I can check. Five out of six clues found. So I was missing something. I thought I found everything. Hmm. Oh, Zach. I could just kill her now. Oh, I don't know. Can I question her? No. Okay, I don't want to cut. Oh, God. All right. Um, who who have we questioned? We need to question people. Yeah, he his alibi needs to be proven. Somehow. Uh, let's go downstairs and have a look then. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Oh, I don't have any. Hmm. Let's go and have a look outside then. Let's go to Fernsby's first. Because I don't think it's him. I need to find Fernsby's office. Where is Fernsby's office? I guess we'll never know. 
That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. I know. This is not what I can do. Oh, yes. Get in. Wait, the door? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, camera, 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 get the camera up. Perfect. The scan. Just master key, perfect. Anything else? Surely got to be something. Oh! Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Oh, wait, what does that mean? Oh, there we go. Painkiller. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? No, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Oh, wait a minute. I'm dressed as a bodyguard. Oh, bingo. I don't just want another hookup. All right, let's keep looking. Does that mean I can go through here? Please stay back. Three days later. Wait, I can go through, right? There we go, perfect. Who's in, what's this? Was Alexa Carlyle's office? That means I can get the case file first, and then all I have to do is take her out. Doesn't matter if I'm about saving, um, solving the case. But it would have been nice to solve the case. How do I? Oh wait. Oh yes. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Okay, I think we've got this. I think we've got this. 12 seconds later. I'm so baffled, man. Oh my god, this game is driving me mad. What does it mean? Telescope. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, wow. Psst. What does that have to do with... What does this telescope have to do with any of this? Say, clock, telescope, fireplace, and that thing. Okay, it's so one. Clock telescope fireplace. Oh, there's fire here. Seven. Oh my god, I was literally looking right at it. The numbers there. Okay, nine, one, nine, seven. And then there's the moose antelope. I don't know what you call it. Five. Okay, I think I got it. Finally, Jesus. One, nine, seven, five. Yes. Good work, 47. Come on. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. All right, now we can do whatever we want. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I want my private investigator disguised back because that was the easiest to like get around the house. The guy standing outside. Yeah, the guy is literally standing outside. This is trickier. 
Come on, we got this, we got this. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Okay. Can't you just relax for a minute? And that solicitor up there, why do you think it's easy? I think solicitors are mother's favourite kind of people. Can't remember ever having a family event without one tucked away in a room somewhere. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Wait, I could kill her now. Mission complete. Well done, 47. My heart's racing right now. Oh my god. I'll wait until searching bar's gone. Once I get the gardens out, I can leave. Yes. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Yes. Oh my god, okay. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine. Shit. Oh no. Did they find us? That was a very draining mission, I can't lie. One hour! Oh my god! Oh. I'm telling you, this mission is a nightmare. Nice, I lost a lot pick. Cool stuff. Let's see what happens next. What's going on? And then there were none. Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now, it's my turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay down. Boss wants you. How did they catch him? Yeah. How about now? Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! Oh! <gasps> you think you've won? 47 is out there. Oh and 47 no! never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him. She nothing. doesn't know about the. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. She doesn't know about it. She's only just found out. Oh my god. How has this mission just done this? Gray is gone. Go to Flip the, the list, script, man. Stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. That's the end of Luke. That's the end of Lucas Gray. Well, you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.